me one day and there was a gestation. At the first production was, was a failure. Was we had the okra, we had the, the watermelon, and we have the, the cabbage that we did, the three production that we did at, okay. the, at the same time. And all of them was a disaster. Hello guys, welcome back to Startup GH. My name is Keteli Michael. We are currently at Butia Betty Boo. We are currently on Green Rush Farm. Green Rush Farm is a vegetable farm. They are doing an amazing project on a large scale. We are here to learn from their systems and how they are doing their production. We are currently producing okra and tomato. But today we are going to focus on okra production. We'll be speaking to the director of the farm. If this is your first time we promote agriculture here, um, don't forget to hit the like button. and I'm the uh, farm manager at um, Green Rush Farms. And um, I'm a compliance officer for ginseng production in Accra, but this is also um, a site thing I do on the, on the weekend. So I'm a full, I work fully with um, ginseng production, but this is uh, something I do on the weekends when um, I have the uh, time. Mostly we do uh, vegetables, um, anything vegetables we do it here. Okay. Uh, how many years have you a few days hold over a year. So I think um, we started everything acquiring the land on the 6th of October. Mm. And we started um, doing some clearing. It was, here was a, 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 a thick forest. So the clearing and everything started around the 6th of October. So a little bit over a year. Okay. Can you run us through how you got this place? And... Uh, interesting. I, so. Um, um, the idea came from my, my brother, who is in Switzerland, okay. um, me, I, uh, Bukre, okay. and um, in, we, we have other businesses, but um, we said, um, a Greek, um, majority of the vegetables is like three months, you can make money out of it. I said, yeah, yeah I mean, why, why, why can't you try? I said, yeah. So we said, okay, then let's look for a land, but he's outside. So I said, going on the IGG, trying to locate for uh, some lands. We first went to some places in Sawam and other stuff, but the cost of the land is very, very, was not very high. So we uh, decided that, okay, let's, let's do water region. So we saw some of the advertisements on DG. So we contacted them, they brought us here, and then um, we, we decided to purchase about um, 25 acres as at, as at um, June, July. Okay. And then my guy came down, uh, my brother came down, we came here, we looked at the land, the land was okay. And then we started to do the payment. So this was not a lease land. This is a, a land which has been bought. Okay. So the first one was a 25 acres. That was the plan. Okay. So we decided to go for extension for another 25. Then we started to go for another extension. So in, in total, what we have here is about 128, about 29 acres of, okay. of land. Yeah. Okay. And you plan to use all for vegetables? Vegetables, yeah. Wow. Okay. Was the process smooth or you had the challenges? Uh, it wasn't smooth in acquiring the land because you know um, the company we bought it from was an agent, okay. and then the family also came in because they saw us here, and I mean there was a little bit of issues, but we were able to sort it out. Um, the the family approached us that uh, we should deal with them more yeah. than the agent. Okay. So I think with the family, it's been it's been smooth so far. It's been smooth so far. Yeah. So what you are seeing there is um, we have the reserve here. Okay. There's a reserve uh, here okay. that you cannot go. Cannot shoot, cannot do anything. So they use the uh, the drone okay. to uh, to just circulate and see if what's 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 happening around. So it's always it's always around. It's a, a uh, constant occurrence here. Oh, okay. it's great to come back like oh, okay. how many times? Yeah. Okay. So um, tell us about um, the whole process of clearing this place. And yes, yeah, so when we came here, we look at the land. And then, like I said, it was a forest. Okay. So we decided to um, then clear because we needed we needed the, the, we needed to get a, a bell and to start a, a, a planting. Okay. So we have to bring in payloader. Uh, we have to do plowing, which is it's it costs because here um, getting a payloader here is very difficult because of the, the remote the remote um, area we are in okay. in the Ebutia. Okay. So um, we got one from um, Sokode. Okay. Uh, which they took us, I think, uh, the going rate was 7,000 uh, for a day, for a day, which is eight hours. Okay. So we have to... Eight hours? Eight hours, yes. Okay. Eight hours. So you have to be strategically in terms of how, what you have to uh, uh, clear, because okay. <laughs> eight hours, you can see 
internet has long, but it's short. very, very sure they are working. So we, we have to clear about uh, mm. nine to ten acres. Okay. A day? Uh, not a day. In a day, I think they, they can they can only do, per my calculation, in a day, they can only do between three or four, even if there are no big trees. Okay. Maybe even less than three. It depends because if they have to uh, push their tree down, pick it and go and drop it at your boundary, mm. it takes a while. Okay. So you have to then bring the tree down. Then you have to let your workers then cut, cut them, them and just because then you have to use the like I said, you have to be tactical about what you are okay. what you are planning to do. So that's the that's how we do. But when we initially when we started, we used the uh, the manual. Okay. We, we got people from the village to do to do the slashing and uh, it clearing. It was wasting time. Yeah, it was wasting time and for. Me as a layman, I didn't know anything about clearing of the land. Okay. We paid the money. I thought clearing of land is the normal clearing of land. You clear my seed there, but not knowing it was just a slashing of the of the of the uh, uh, the mm -hmm. trees and the slashing. Even trees wasn't part. Slashing of the of the grasses. grasses. The trees were still there. So I said, no, we are wasting money on, on that. So we have to then change the change it. Look for a payloader who came here and just uh, clearing everything. Clearing out. everything. Yeah. So you did the clearing for 25 acres, or you have cleared everything on? No, no, no. We we, we still yeah we did a clear for 25, but some of them we are seeing um, because of the rains it has it has gone. But majority of I think 25 acres all went down. Okay. Somewhere around like um, January, February, if you have been here, this place was like okay. a but because of the rains then it's it's yeah it's the grass has uh, gone up again. But I'm sure when we spray and all the stuff it will. It will Okay, yeah. so after clearing, what was your first project and what inspired that? Um, so we're looking to do something quickly that can uh, reimburse the money, the expense that we've, we've, we've incurred because we've incurred a lot. So we said to go for okay. Oku. So um, first of all, we we have to look for a, um, somebody who knows how to do the vegetables. I didn't know how to do vegetables. Okay. I'm just an office compliance guy. I don't okay. know how to do vegetables. So we have to look for someone who knows how to do the vegetables. So we, I went to um, Atomic. Okay. There was this guy there, you know, Atomic around Atomic. Um, yeah, there was this vegetable guy there. Who, yeah. So I picked one of them. We brought him here. We showed him the place, and um, we decided to go into Okru. So the Okru was the first thing okay. we did. Um, I did I, I, we did it the, the dry season. Okay. Uh, around December, January, there about. Um, then there was a problem with um, okay. water. Yeah. water. So the first production was, was Okru. That's, okay. what, that's what we did. Okay. Now I'm interested in you being a starter and getting... Was it smooth like how you thought it would be? No. Can you share some of these challenges? There's a lot of challenges because one, um, first I thought um, if you look at the videos on YouTube, the way they go about it, um, $6,000 this, six thousand dollars in... Um, uh, in uh, one three months. Two, three months and four months. I say wow. So that was what inspired us. Okay. But when you get onto the field and you look at sure the you look at the field and you are in the field, you see it's a different ballgame altogether. Mm -hmm. Because for a payloader to come here is seven thousand. Seven thousand. Imagine clearing twenty five acres. Yeah. That's a lot of money. Then we Even had a, a week. It, exactly. So we have a we have a stream that goes around here. Okay. So we were banking our hopes because that's what we were told that the family told us that the stream works, you get a lot of water, you can pump it and uh. so okay then they also and there's also some that pass through the land. So that's why we even uh, entice us to even buy the land because okay. they will get water. Okay. Then when we would dry season. Dry season came, the water nothing. just went off. Nothing. So first how are we challenge. Going to, how are you going to do that? So that's the first challenge. How are you going to do? What, what, what are you going to do? So again, me and my brother, we have to look at it, then we have to uh, dig, uh, we oh. dig uh, two bowls. Okay. So we have the solar, which is somewhere here. Okay. Then we have the electricity one, which is also also there. So we have two bowls which were dug the same day. Okay. And um, surprisingly, I left the farm um, around uh, two thirty a.m. Wow. I was sleeping on the I mean, sleeping on the, <laughs> on the <gallery. laughs> and uh, with animals because that, that it was a little bushy, a little bit. Okay. Uh, I left around two a.m. Uh, but we got the we got the water, mm -hmm. so that was the first. So we got the water. Now we need to get tanks. Okay. So now your first challenge is the water. Water to oh, get water. Where to, to store it? Where to store the water? Now you get the water. Where to store it? You have to bring your. You have to buy tanks. Now you have to get one tank will not be enough. Okay. So we have about nine tanks there. No, about uh, nine, right? No, eight. Mm -hmm. Eight tanks. So uh, one with ten thousand, uh, two with ten thousand uh, liters capacity, okay. and um, six with five thousand uh, capacity. I think in total we have about fifty thousand okay. uh, liters. But that is definitely also not 
enough yeah. Yeah. because in terms of the production that we want to do it will not be enough for the for the production but um, at least we are managing what we are managing what, what, we, what we have so back to the first year mm -hmm. you, you had issues with water yeah what about the production itself yes so um the production didn't go well um normally i come here every week to supervise everything but um it didn't go well um the first production for the ukru i think we uh, per my calculation we got only up to uh for the three acres we planted yeah we got only up to a little bit of a 70 buckets blue bucket that's a small paint rubber 70 per 70 that, and it was a disaster so we did it in stages so the other stage that we were planning to bang our hopes on i came here one day and there was a there was a what do we call it there was a infestation i think there was music something music infestation okay. or, so i asked myself i said what happened and I, 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 last last week i was here but what happened? He said he doesn't know, and the thing just came. And but I said, ah, but did you call me to inform me about it for us to discuss? I forgot. <laughs> that's that's the answer I got from him. I forgot to tell you. So there, I knew we were on the wrong uh, tangent. Okay. So we needed to restructure. And um, so the first production was was a failure. Was a failure. So that was a that was a that was a. Uh, so I think the first production we had the okro, we had the. Um, the watermelon and we have the the cabbage that we did the three production that we did at, okay. the, at the same time and all of them was a disaster all of them all of them disaster. so how many people were employed here okay then? so we got um workers from the town because we are close to um the betipo town in the Butia. okay so we got about uh, 12 i think they were almost about 16. okay 16 workers that were working here because of the production that we were we were doing so we have about 16 workers Okay. That uh, because we were doing our own uh, projections and we saw that yes we can match the salary and everything in terms of the but um uh, it didn't go well it didn't go it well. didn't go well at all so we had a management meeting me and my my, my brother and then um, the decision was to sack everybody oh wow yes okay. that was a decision because um we we you put in a lot of money and you don't get anything back then, then there's there's a problem somewhere okay. you check the problem it happened with the okru it's still happening with the watermelon and it's still happening with the with the cabbage okay so i just have to come here one day and just um, suck everybody so that decision did it help now that you are yes it did. it did yes yes so yes. we can say they didn't know what they were doing um okay so the supervisor is a vegetable farmer okay so I will trust that yes, he's, uh, he's uh, you thought he can. It, I thought he can do because he does onions. When I saw him, I went to his farm. He was doing cabbage. Okay. So I mean, if I bring you to, if I move you from your one acre cabbage and I bring you to your two, there maybe five acre uh, land for a cabbage. You know, you, you definitely know that it's the same basics, the same process, but maybe different skill. Maybe different skill. Maybe that's what the, that was what was uh, overwhelming for, for for him. I don't know, but. It, it, when he assured us that we are going to, uh, 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 it's going to work, it's going to make a lot of us a lot of money. Was well, that was the aim, but um, okay. I know it, it didn't turn up well. So today I'm interested in the structure that you have put in place, which is working now. Okay, so first of all, we have the wa we have the water. Okay. So now the water is working. We have the drip drip uh, the drip lines which are working for working for us. Okay. But earlier on you didn't do the drip. We did a drip. Earlier on was a drip, but okay. the guy. The supervisor was more of the um, the old type, the fetch water. And the, yes, the, the the pumping one, okay, okay. the Reno's one. Yes, yes. So he wasn't able to use the drip well. Okay. So that was also a thing because we wasted money getting all you all the the, the drip tapes, the the sub mains, the mains and everything, and they couldn't use it well. So sometimes they tell us that the, there's no water. The water is not. I say, but then my, my my guy, my brother say, ah, but I have two bowls. So how are you not getting enough water? Mm -hmm. So that should explain to me. And sometimes they cannot explain. So we saw that there was a challenge in terms of the leadership here. So okay. that was the first thing we did. So getting off and bringing in a new person has also helped. So that's the one thing we changed and it's, it's, it's working out for us. So first you changed uh, the workers? We changed the whole workers. We brought, we brought in new workers. Uh, are they also from the town? No, they're not from the town. They are from, from the north. Okay. And what was the second thing again? So the second challenge was about um, stealing. Stealing. So the production wasn't going well, and um, they end up um, stealing. There's more that will come to. There's more that will come to for us to even buy insecticide uh, or weedicide. Uh, they still, and we got the information, and um, like I said, that, that was one of the factors that we have to uh, let them go because 
if I'm paying you a whole lot of money and you are here, you are supposed to look at my interest. And when we harvest, when we do something, we, we also give you part of it. But you end up still stealing. going ahead and stealing. So this was from the previous workers? The previous workers, okay. yes. Previous so workers. now what measures have we put in place to... For the, in terms of the stealing? Yes. So now we've, um, we've decided to bring in some cameras. Okay. Cameras here. So that will be, that will be we've, we've bought the cameras, that will be stored probably by next week okay. before the cameras are so we we'll look at vantage points because also we realized that it wasn't only when we sacked them and they also went there were people who were coming onto the farm to also come and steal from here okay. so we got information that people from the town also see our tomatoes and come and just steal yes, some okay. and, and some bags and things and go because there'll be, there'll be nobody here anyway at, at that time okay. they come here around like 9 p.m 10 p.m to come and do what so We've got some cameras which will be which will be fixed um, um, on, on the vantage points in the, okay. in the, on, on the farm. I, I also realized that you brought in light. Was it there during the? <laughs> so that's that's another another challenge. <laughs> so um, now we we wanted to get light here because uh, we have a, a solar and okay. we have a, a what we call electricity wire. Here. So if you have a, a power here, it's going to help a lot. So we look at it and say, okay, then let's bring in some um, um, power. So okay. we we got some contractor. He came in. He looked at it. He showed us what to buy and everything. We bought everything. Then we connected it. But the distance from the farm to here is about two point something kilometers. Uh, less than two kilometers. So, yeah. so by, by the time the power from the town reached the farm, it has dropped. Dropped. Okay. So we always have low current here, and we couldn't pump our surface pumps. Okay. So we look into getting electricity to uh, come, but. When the electricity guys came in, they said, no, well, we didn't contact them and um, um, the trees, the, the, the poles we use, well, if you know, we have to buy for everything, we have, to, we have to buy from them. And everything. So we wrote a letter to them. They came here, they did some mapping, they assessed their whole situation. And I mean, the, the cost again to, to rig, because you have to, from what they are saying, we have to get a transformer. Okay. If not, we are not going to get power here. Power here. And the cost of the transformer, they've not told us about it. Because now, because we cannot do it on our own, we have to then contact them that, how much is it? Because that's what they say we should do. Okay. But they have not come back with us for um, uh, their cost. The price. So what we did was that, okay, how do we get electricity if we don't have, if we don't have uh, 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 the, the normal electricity? We so we use solar or we bring in generator. Okay. So we bought a generator. Okay. So just to power our, um, our, uh, our pump. Okay. But I mean, since it's raining, we hardly even use it anyway. Okay. So it's, it's always there. Yeah. Okay. So um, with the current production, yeah. which is, uh, which, what are you currently producing now? The okra? Yes. Okay. So we did, uh, we just finished um, with um, tomatoes. Okay. And we started with um, okra. Yeah. So as you can see, these are our okras that uh, they are being even harvested. From what I, what I know, we have started harvesting. So we have, this is a phase two of it. Okay. It's about 3.3. Acre, um, um, okra field okay and we have about the first piece which is about 1.1.2 uh, acre and there there are another uh, uh, 1.2 which was um, uh, planted about last week last week and there was um, another one which has been planted just um, i think yesterday oh, okay so we have about uh, roughly we are looking about um, six acres of okay of, uh, 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 what about the tomato so uh, these are the Tomatoes were, that were transplanted um, on the 26th of um, September. This is more of a, a cheesy and um, we have one variety from Morocco that we are also trying. So that one and then uh, Cobra 26. Okay. That's what we have. So this is a, a one acre. Uh -huh. Then we have another, I think almost a half acre, which they are still because we have some in the nursery which will be uh, transplanted maybe by tomorrow or Monday, which also will go down. So on this field, it's about um, three acres, also about three acres. Of tomatoes that will, will go in then you can see your far right where the two uh, this is that's, a, where, that's where we finish uh, the harvest so we've cleared that place we've um, we've plowed that place and the next nursery we want we want to plant um, cobra 34 also on, on that side uh -huh. yeah so roughly we'll be having give give or take we are having about um, uh, six acres okay. but the plan is to have about um, 10 acres okay. 10 acres of tomato try getting um, so the, because we, the first time we did we did the cobra, yeah. which I think is okay, but maybe as time goes on we we'll try we we'll try other varieties. But cobra is what we we, we, we are familiar to now. We try getting the seed. You can't get. You can get a seed. Uh, we try um, agri seed. Yeah. I think they are the main partners that yes. brings in the uh, the cobra from France. Okay. We they don't have uh, uh -huh. the thirty four, so we try other um, places we don't get. So we have to go outside Ghana. 
Okay. So we went we went outside Ghana and uh, we got some outside Ghana. Okay. Which the price, looking at the transportation in terms of everything, was a little lower, but um, it wasn't that uh, that much. It's even lower than the one in Ghana. Yeah. Yes, because the one in Ghana is being sold for two thousand. Okay. Uh, two thousand, two thousand one, and the one outside that we bought in terms of transportation, everything was up to like um, thousand nine hundred, thousand nine hundred. Yeah, thousand nine, thousand eight, thousand nine hundred. Yeah. So. But but the, the the problem with that is that you have to get somebody there to buy for you. Okay. Because then the risks in th the risks you have to pay for the risks also. Okay. So you give money to somebody, the person doesn't bring your, doesn't get your money okay. back. So that's the risk that you have to go with. So currently you have some. Are you selling what you? Have? Uh, we have some. Uh, we have some. If somebody wants to buy, maybe we can let go some. Okay. And then uh, yeah, we are we are also going for um, two thousand two thousand one hundred. Of course, you have to make profit. Okay. It's, it's, it's not difficult getting it from where we got it from, but um, if somebody wants it, uh, we no, have that trust. No, you don't say somebody will tell you, I get plug, I get plug. Then exactly. You go buy fake. You go buy fake. So <laughs> uh, we have some and um, we can let go of And it's up, what we have is the, the expiring date is up to 20, uh, 2028. Okay. So it's you can even you, you can even buy from there, also go and keep it and also sell. But I mean, we, because we are going to do Cobra, that's how we are keeping it. So we are not forcing anyone to buy. Okay. But if anybody is interested, we can let go one or two. Okay. Yeah. Um, what quantity are you talking about? Is it the person one or two? Or let's no, see. we don't have the box. We didn't. Okay. We didn't get the box. Like I said, maybe um, uh, we are trying to get some. Some. So maybe probably by uh, in two three weeks time, we should get another consignment from where we because aggressive don't have. Okay. So that's the that's the challenge. Yeah. How is the marketing? Okay. So with marketing, in terms of what the reports I get from my uh, my marketing lady is that. Uh, Marketing is um, it's not just straightforward. Okay. You have to deal with um, uh, market women. Yeah. And you know market women, they always want something cheap yeah. so that they can go and make the profit, not you. But you see, the point is that they don't, they don't understand the inputs, we, we, like what we put in into the farming, okay. what we go about in terms of getting the yield up. The, the, I'm telling you the cost of the yeah. cost of uh, 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 Cobra 34, yeah. 2,000 cities. Okay. You get me? So, um, they don't really understand. Maybe, maybe they do, but maybe, I don't know if it's deliberate, but they always want you to bring yes. it to them at a cheaper price yes. so that they will go and sell any. But they should also know that we also we are also putting in a lot and um, they should also help us to help them because when we also bring it, they also sell and get back. But in terms of this, um, in terms of like, let's say, tomato spicy, I think the price has gone down. Okay. Uh, because of the reason, the price has gone down. So what, what I hear from the report I get is that the price is moving around like um, uh, 800, 700 there about for a, a box. Okay. So that's where it is. But um, somewhere around like um, somewhere around like June, July there, I think it was being sold for like 2008, 2005 there about. Okay. So for a box. But I mean, but with Okro now that we have a still, I think Okro now the the blue paint rubber from what we know is being sold for 80 cities. That's the blue paint rubber. So, so wait, are you, who, who is setting the price for you, the farm? Um, it, it, it will be very difficult for the farmer to uh, 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 set the prices, or uh, uh, yes, to set the prices because no, it's, I, I I I disagree with that because with the investments that we are making into this sort of farm, I think it's time your farm has a weighing scale. Yes, so so that's one of the things that we are bringing in. Okay. Um, I think um, last week or so we bought the weighing, but you see this market women that you sell to. They don't probably weigh. They only sell the sack. You can only weigh when you are dealing with the malls, the restaurants, and the big companies, the catering companies. That's what you can do. So that's another step that we have to go. But in terms of selling to the market women, they don't deal in, in, in weighing. They know that it's a sack and there's a big cone that, that, they, that they buy. So apart from that, that so we don't, we, don't, we don't sell the prices gradually. As I see with your new... Uh Greenhouse. Yes, yes. I was uh, our new supervisor. They all took over from the the old one. Um, said that no, because the first one was doing the seedlings on the on the ground. On the ground. So he said no, we should do the greenhouse where we can have um, um, uh, the seedlings in trees and everything. Yeah. That we know already. But this guy preferred, like I said, the old tactics. So okay. The new guy said no, let's do this. So we, we put it up. Everything is everything is um, having bots. So okay. we are here to start the cover thirty four seedlings in, in there. What's yeah. what's your impression about the new? Uh, production manager. Oh, um, his name is Success. He's a it's a very uh, yeah. We, we call him Crop Doctor. Crop Doctor, yes, Crop Doctor. That, I think that's a nickname. But I, I call him Success. Uh, okay. He's an interesting guy, nice guy. 
Um, well, we brought as as we, we we interesting way of got him. I got him on Facebook actually. Okay. So he came to my I saw him on Facebook and I said, okay, I wanted to because I'm the farm manager. I have to get the basics of farming. So I got the I, I called him up. He said I have to pay consultancy. I said, hey, master, if I send you the money, you don't come. So I would have chopped my money before. So I don't want you to come and chop my money. <laughs> but this guy was good. He picked his own car from uh, a pump Sunday morning and came to my place. We did it. Uh, we did some seedlings at home and everything. So. Looking at it, I saw that the guy was good, so I said, um, I spoke to my, my brother, and uh, we decided to give him an offer, okay. and I think the offer was, was good to him, and then he took the offer. So he came in, looked at it, and said, no, you see, so we gave him the background of what have happened here. Okay. So he said, okay, so um, why, why don't you start with um, okra and uh, tomatoes? That can bring in fast money, some cash in, okay. then we can then move on to whatever you want to do. But he is more of the okra, um, tomatoes, bell pepper, garden eggs, yeah. that kind of thing. So, impression, good guy. Okay. And the production is going on, is going on well. It's okay. going on well, very well. Okay. Very well. With him, you have started. Um, yes. Yes. He cashing out on the yes. okra. Yes. Okra. Yes. So yes. far, what do you think about the okra? Do you think it can recoup the some of let's say uh, yes we can i mean if revenue come in yes it will recoup some something but um our plan was to um we, we are not going to make any profit in the next uh, five years okay. what we are planning to do is that we we do reinvestment all the time so that maybe at five six years then we can start saying okay we want to do because we want to expand also we want to bring in some money um open the land and maybe even go into tubers okay because maybe i didn't i forgot to tell you, we have um four thousand pieces of uh, tubers that uh, yam that we, we planted and they are almost at the ready stage that we can we can harvest okay and those ones were done by the the nothing guys because they are from north so they, it's, it was easy for them to to, okay. to do it yeah so uh, but the production for what i'm saying is is going on well it's good it's better than it's far 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 better than the, the previous uh, one and so we harvest every three days i think um last uh, um, thursday that okay. we harvested for the two we got because this is even new. So yeah, yeah. for the for the two, we got about 151 bucket blue buckets. Okay. Of 151 blue buckets. How many sacks is that? So if you are looking at it, it translates into four sack and then some four sack and some two baskets. Okay. Four sack and some two baskets. Yeah. Oh, that's impressive for yeah. first harvest day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um. This you see, we are on YouTube trying to motivate him. Yeah. Well, what's the reality of ground like? <laughs> can you? <laughs> I can say to you that uh, maybe you can't um, you can't debunk anything that they say on YouTube. Okay. But um, reality is reality. When you come in, okay. you see. The I real... want you to tell us the reality on ground. It's expensive. Um, I can say that farming is no more no more passion. Okay. Farming is now, I would not say farming, farming is now agribusiness. Okay. Because if you are putting in money and you want to get something out of it, there's business. Okay. So farming is now agribusiness, no more passion. Because if I tell you the amount of, the, even the, the cost of a seed that you have to buy, mm -hmm. it's expensive. Okay. There's no more 200, 100 cities that you no, know, no, that no. exactly. So, and also land preparation, paying of workers. Okay. Workers can come, they, they work for you, they can go. But we want to keep them. We want to keep them here, so we have accommodation for them. We want to keep them here so that they can, because of the large production, we want to keep them here so that um, we can have them on the farm all the time. Because every day there is something that you have to do, oh. and the supervisor cannot do it alone. Okay. And you cannot have uh, people coming to work for you for, let's say, planting of okra, then they go away. When it's time for weeding, then they will come back. I mean, it becomes a uh, so we decide to keep, bring them all in. They come, they work. So every day there is something that they are doing. Today, some of them are weeding. Some of them were applying um, uh, insecticide, uh, as as, uh, fungicide, and all the stuff at the other side. So um, that's the that's the reality. Reality is 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 that farming is no more passion. Well, what are some of the hidden costs that we we feel to tell you people that you have seen on ground? Well, when we came in here, so one of the one of the when we came in here, mm -hmm. the first thing was that they told us that there was a stream. That is always the stream is there, and yeah. you mean you can get water. Yeah, you, you said that you, you can get water. Now we came in and it's dry season. <laughs> So first it costs, you have to get water. Are you going to, are you going to buy a tank of, how, how much, how much, uh, a tanker will come here? How much mm -hmm. are you going to pay a tanker? For, for how, much, uh, how many liters? Yeah. So the first, water is even a hidden cost. Because mm -hmm. if you don't have water, for me if you don't have water, don't even go into farming. Because mm -hmm. everything is about watering your plants yeah. and making sure that the ground is moist and they get it and they're able to uh, give you a good yield. Okay. So the first thing was about the water. That's the first hidden cost. I stay in Accra. I have to come here 
all the time. Yeah. So if I have to come here like a week, you have to even lodge. I have to even lodge because I don't have any home here. I have to lodge. So even hotel, hotel fees, hotel uh, rates, and all this stuff have been it's hidden. My fuel from Accra to this place and back is also hidden. So those are the small, small hidden costs. You know, maybe if your farm is close to you, then you don't have a problem. But if your farm is a little far, when this is where you can get the very good lands are, then you have a that's a, one of the hidden challenges. Okay. There are lots, but if I say our version, we don't be able to finish. Um, okay. How many workers are here? Um, currently, we have about uh, permanent. permanent workers. We have about um, 11 workers. And the casual ones? We don't have casual. Okay, 11 workers. 11 workers. 11 okay. permanent workers. Do you also feed them? Have you realized yet? No, we don't feed them. We give them, so their feeding is part of their, we yeah. give them accommodation, okay. but their feeding is part of the amount we, oh, we okay. give them. Okay, okay, nice. Because I have challenges. You pick laborers, and when they are working for you, you have to feed them. Exactly. Yeah. So, like I said, this place is a very remote place. Yeah. So even from the town to here, it's about, like I said, it's about two kilometers or even one or something. Okay. So uh, for, I cannot bring in somebody to come and cook for you mm. all the time. Oh, so that's why I said, okay, I cannot, I cannot cook for you. All of you know how to cook. So the money that I used to, uh, the money that I used to bring somebody to come and cook for you and buy the food stuff, I'll give that money to you. So in the morning, you prepare your food, you eat. If you want to bring it to the farm, bring it to the farm and come and eat. When you close, when in the afternoon, they have done some shit there, they, you can cook, they have their own things there, they cook and they eat, sit there and eat. In the evening, when they go home, they have their, their maize, their all the stuff there, they cook and eat. So I've added that money to the, the salary that I give them. Then okay. they, 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 they eat okay. on their own. So My accommodation is fine for them. Okay. So let's let's do the, the systems that you have put in place. Okay. So first of all, for what I realized, you have to, if you, are, if you want to do agribusiness, yeah. You uh, not like a one man show or yeah. a two man show. Okay. You have to get people in charge. You cannot do everything on your own. Okay. So me as a layman that I have barely no idea about um, farming or even vegetable farming. Um, I, I started reading. I started going to training and all those stuff on my own. Okay. So I started picking up a lot of a lot of things in terms of how to plant, what, uh, the the uh, fertigation, how to apply and all those. So I did a lot of research and I started also learning on my own. I started doing some. So I, me, my, me myself, I had a, a tomatoes at home that okay. I did on experiments okay. that did well. So the structure is to bring in people in that can assist you. Okay. Because we want to do, the, the plan here is to get about a thousand acre. Okay. A thousand acre land. Okay. So that's a that's a that's a vision. That's a vision. So we try to put in uh, the the proper people in place so that at least they can also assist us in doing it. So like I said, we have our production, our production uh, supervisor, okay. who's in who's in charge of the production. He's only in charge of production. Okay. So he says, okay, we go this one, we do this one. This is how we do this. This is how we do this. And we have the farm supervisor. Okay. The farm supervisor is the one who stays on the farm. Okay. And who um, take also take instruction from the production. So the production uh, doesn't stay here all the time. Okay. So uh, we have the farm supervisor who stays here. I mean, from morning to uh, working hours, morning okay. to evening. Um, and then we have he, he takes off the boys. Okay. And he take care of the land. He take off the logistics and everything. Okay. Then we have um, the marketing lady. Uh, okay. So marketing and HR. So she does the recruitment for us, and she also does the marketing. Okay. So when the production guy finishes production. Is passed on to the marketing lady. So the marketing lady then coordinates from the from the farm to where I'm supposed to go. Whether the, the whether the, uh, the those who want to buy come to the farm to buy, or we take it to them. They pay their transport. We take their money. So we have a, a marketing lady who kind of um, take charge take charge of that. And we have a, a one of my brothers is also a logistics. He also drives up and down. But we look at it in more of a family and friends business business that we know to. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I'm Elias Bakajo. Okay. I am the supervisor of Green Rush Farms. I take care of the workers. I make sure that all their daily activities are being met. What do you think about this farm with the work that you people are putting in? With the work that we are putting in, I think, I recall, we are going to get a good yield this year as compared to the last, what they did the last time. How is it structured like? How is your production manager like? How does he give you work? Who designed the activities? Oh, the activities have been designed by our production manager, Success. Okay. okay. So every week, he gives us the outline of the productions, okay. what we will do daily. Okay. So when we come in the morning, I make sure I divide all the workers 
So we do the uh, division of labor. Okay. If there is weeding, norm, I divide them. Some some of them are doing will be doing weeding in the morning. Some of them will be doing spraying, and some of them will go to the farm, I call the yam farm, to keep, to take care of the farm. They will take five hours. Okay. To do all these things in the morning. Okay. We go to break at eleven thirty. Okay. And when we come back from the break, we take another work, different from what we did in the morning. Okay. Um, in terms of security, how do you uh, ensure that uh, there is little or no theft on the farm? That's one of the challenges we are facing here. Okay. When we are on the farm, uh, there is no theft on the farm. Okay. But when we go home, uh -huh. the people from the town, they come around in the night to come and steal our, our fruit. Oh. Um, what's your impression on the changes that you your system that you have, do you think is going to, is working for you? Yes, it's working. The systems we have in here now is is definitely working. Okay. Yes, that because we started and then we don't have, um, there are one or two things that we need on the farm that we need to get them. Maybe a payloader oh. and a, um, a tractor. Okay. A, a tractor that can plow anything I want to do and a payload that we can. So that one is huge money. So mm -hmm. we need to. But in terms of the changes that we did and the structures that we have here now, and the and the and the harvest and the yield we are getting. It's impressive. Okay. It's, it's impressive. What's the vision for the production? Do you intend to export? Yes, yes, we intend to export. Um, but first of all, we need to get uh, the local market, okay. try and um, uh, supply the local market, then we look in uh, exports. That's one of the vision also to export. But you know, in the exports, you have to, be, uh, you have to get the standards okay. to export. So we also look, in, look into that. But yes, we want to get a place up and, up and running because we are barely one year old. Okay. So we just want to get everything up and running, then we can look into exports. Uh, if someone should call you that, okay, based on your experience now, mm -hmm. uh, he also wants to do the same thing, would you advise the person to? Uh, yes, I would advise the person to go into it, but um, maybe you have to start small. It depends on the, your budget that you have, because first of all, you have to look at your budget. Okay. We, before we started this place, we had a budget. We, we planned for everything before we started. Okay. But the moment you, you get in onto the field, mm -hmm. everything mean, changes. Okay. So you have a budget for, let's say, going to buy uh, pipes, like these pipes. You have yeah. to buy pipes. And, but the other day, you, are, you have to buy more than what you expected. So then you go out of budget. Okay. So what we have to do that, then what we did was we have to then adjust our budget. But still, we were, we, it, it goes overboard. Okay. But still, our advice so I want to go into farming to go, but start small. Mm -hmm. Start what you can. That's, 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 that's not small. But if, it's, if I say small, then maybe I'm talking in terms of your pocket. But start what you think you can. So if you have the millions and you think you can start in big quantity, why not? It's, it's your money. But if you want to just start gradually, 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 and it, it takes. Farming is a good thing. Okay. At least you know you are feeding, you are feeding people. Though you are getting some revenue, but you are feeding, you are employing people. Okay. You are also helping to the economy of uh, of Ghana. Um, because when we when we came here, the when we start bringing in the guys from the town, the plan was to when we pay them, yeah. the money stays there. So in that the was the plan. Okay. So we know that okay. So this town is being catered for by the farm. Okay. That was the plan. But unfortunately, we have to let them go. It's only a fool who doesn't, who doesn't learn from the mistakes. Okay. We've got a lot of mistakes. We've learned from it. We are trying to also move away from some of the things that um, were challenging to us. So, yes, we've done a lot. Um, we, are, we, are, we are hoping to get a good yield than, than the one we got um, in, in um, June, okay. especially the, the tomatoes. Mm -hmm. So we are putting a lot of... The first tomatoes, we didn't stick. This, this one, we are going to stick it and um, there's going to be a lot, I mean 10 acres, so it's going to be good. Someone might be asking when it comes to remuneration for workers, mm. what is the average for a worker? Um, average for a worker, we are looking at a thousand cities. Okay. For a worker, a, a farmhand. Okay. Then it goes up from to the, from the, you know, so in stages from the supervisor to the uh, marketing lady and to the uh, the production uh, supervisor. So, so is the farm structured in a way that all year round they are always working? 
Yes, or yes. they have break. Um, so what we saw, so last year, last year I can say that they work all year round. Okay. But what we are looking at this year is that uh, maybe if the if the production um, the prices goes down a little bit, yeah. we might uh, maybe hot production for a month okay. to let the um, uh, the workers also go on um, some one month leave leave and come back. So what we we'll do is that we we'll structure in a way that all of them will not go at the same time. Mm. So we we'll have parts going mm -hmm. for one month and also parts also going when the others other, uh, return. So that's the uh, the structure we've, we've put in place. You know, retention is very, very mm -hmm. important. And it's one of the challenging mm -hmm. farms. How do you ensure that uh, HR retains most of the workers? Uh, yes, they don't go and they don't come back again. So well, I, mean, I mean, for, for from, from what we've surveyed and what we've, we've, we've done, okay. we've seen that we are doing particular well and okay. um, we have a lot of things here for the workers i mean we have the medical care for them okay. um, they have on-site first aid treatment okay. so we have a, a big first aid box and everything here every so the moment something happens you you are treated if you go to hospital we take care of the we try to take care of the of the of the, the, bill. of the bills okay. and um, and when we produce you also get not the produce in terms of the money but in terms of also getting the tomorrow. so like i said Anytime we harvest the, the last time we harvest the tomatoes, anytime we harvest the tomatoes, they get some. Okay. Anytime we harvest, they get some. So, I mean, we've put some uh, measures in place to, to retain them. And I think they, they are happy with, with what we do. And also, when I'm coming from Accra, sometimes I bring them some gifts. Sometimes when I come here, I just put my hand in my pocket and just dash them, just something for appreciation of what, how they, what are, they are doing. What they are doing on the farm. So, it's like I'm going come. So, that's why we expect also that they should also give their best. Exactly. So, when I come and I'm also giving something out, I know that I'm giving it to my boys. Okay. Um, right now, what is on sale on the farm? What what can people buy from you? Now? Um, so what's on sale now is okro. That's what we have currently. Okay. Which is um, which is we are we are we, tomorrow we will be doing some harvest tomorrow. Okay. And then, but the tomato is not ready yet. It will be between yeah. late November, early December. They are about that to be ready. But currently, it's okro that we, we have to, to to sell. Uh, how much are you selling a uh, basket now? Um, a basket is going for uh, three fifty. Okay. But it depends on the basket. But in the normal basket, I don't have it here. But I think the normal basket is four hundred cities farm okay. gate. Yeah. Okay. So two fifty for a basket. Just two fifty for a basket because it depends on the size of the basket. Because market women have different baskets, but we have a basket there that we, we used to measure. But that basket is four hundred cities farm gate. Okay. And uh, what quantity can they get from you? Um, because um, I think we started um, harvest about um, a week ago. A week ago. So we. It's, it will it will it will peak. Yeah. It will so peak. right now we are getting about uh, four sacks, five sacks. So it will it will peak when the when it gets to the uh, 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 maximum. But right now that's that's what that's the what we have. We will harvest tomorrow, so then we will know okay. how, how much uh, okay. uh, sacks we are getting. Uh, if someone wants to reach out to buy, which numbers should they call? Okay, so they can call uh, 024, 024 Okay. Any other number? Um. Yes, I think that's the office number. So if they call. Anytime they, they can call anytime. Can anytime you repeat the number again? Zero two four five six nine nine six zero nine. Okay. Uh, what about? Are you present on social media? Yes, yes. We are. We have. We, I think we are present on all the social media handles. Uh, we are on Twitter. We are on um, uh, Green Rush Farms on uh, Twitter. Uh, we have uh, Green Rush Farms on Facebook, and uh, I think we also have Green Rush Farms on TikTok. Okay. Yes. So normally we post some videos there on our production and how how we handle our production and everything here in the farm. The the drip irrigation was it expensive? Very expensive. For the setup. For the setup. I don't like to. About how much? Because uh, one drip, uh, which is about two thousand two thousand meters, mm -hmm. it depends on the spacing. Okay. It's costing around. Um, I think at the time we bought it was around thousand six hundred for a bundle. For a bundle. For a bundle, yes, of two thousand of, of a row two thousand. Okay. So uh, uh, for about for two thousand meters. So you can imagine maybe a farm can take. <laughs> we bought a farm can take more. So uh, estimation was uh, for for irrigation for irrigation here as one of the high costs that we we have to uh, incur. Okay. But I mean we are, we are getting there. Did 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 you employ someone who is good at um, fixing? Yes yes it? yes yes. So we got um, a guy um, called uh, Usin. But really, he traveled recently, okay. but he was the one who has been here and he was the one fixing all the drip irrigation. But I mean, with the drip, 
the moment you start doing it and your farm workers also get to know how to do it they can also do it but not in terms of the technicality but in terms of putting in the tips okay. moving the tips closing the valves and other stuff they can they can do it but in terms of laying out the mains and everything you have to get the experts to come and do it for you uh -huh. yeah okay and it's always advisable, even when you're picking laborers, you pick somebody who is familiar with working on drip tapes, or you can easily train the person. Exactly, exactly. I mean, the boys we have here, they are not uh, really in terms of irrigation. So I've, I made my supervisor pick about three of them who are good okay. to, I mean, always be on the irrigation side. Mm -hmm. So anything irrigation, they should be there. So that they also learn, uh, learn on it. And also, you should know that this, the workers here, this is a form of training for them. Okay. Because surely, I'm happy to be fair. They will not be working with us till the kingdom come. Okay. So they will go back to their places and maybe what they've learned from here, they will go and implement it there. Okay. And um, most of the place, those guys from the north, they are doing Syria, tubers and all those stuff. Yeah. But these vegetables. So okay. they can go there and practice the, the vegetables there, which, is, which will be good for them. So That's how many of them do you have on your farm? With the boys, the yeah, farmers? The northerners. Um, all of them. The 11, 11. <laughs> yes. Is this the sound less? Uh, they don't have. <laughs> like I said, we when we came here, the, the 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 thing for us was to get people from the town, okay, let them work and keep the money in the town. Yeah. But at the end of the day, some theft and stealing went on, and okay. the investigations and things that we did point to point to them. Mm -hmm. So what do we do? You don't have any option than to let them go. So okay. because if they are here, they see what you do. If they are not here. They can only come here. So okay. that's the next stage where we'll put on the cameras here. So that when somebody enters your farm, you get a signal on your farm that there's somebody on the farm apart from your from your workers. Okay. Yeah. This is where you plan to do the rice? No. Uh, so this place was was um, originally for okra. Okay. We changed the plan to tomatoes. Then we changed the plan back to tomatoes. Eh, to okra. okra. <laughs> <laughs> so they've, they, I think they just finished planting some, um, some okra here. I think that was yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So this is a waterway. So our like I said earlier on, our land have a stream and also have a little bit of um, a water log area, a little bit okay. in between the land where okay. you can also get the water. Okay. So we, we do, maybe we'll not do anything here for now. Maybe when the dry season is set up, they will plant the okra in because at that time there will be water a little bit in there. What do you do with this? Um no, it will be bent. Any message to the new farmers out there, people that have been watching videos? but they can't start, they are just waiting for something to start, anything? Um, I think you just have to start. I mean, it doesn't matter how small it is. Mm -hmm. If it is a um, um, uh, size of a room, yeah. 12 by 12 feet, just start something. Because the moment you put something on the ground, it will germinate and it will give you fruits. So the fruits also count, it's a lot, you can sell. So the more you do it small, small, you will you'll be able to reach where you want to reach. Don't say that, oh, um, I've seen this video. No, no, no. There are challenges. Every profession, there's challenges. So what you have to do is that you just have to start small, 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 and you get there. If you know you can start big, it's, 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 you, can, you can. But start out, out. for me, I would encourage um, all young guys like me to also go into farm. You shouldn't fear whatever. I mean, mountains are there to be conquered anyway. Yeah. So just go in there, put something on the ground. And you say you can even be in the city, have some small place, small half, half room, plant something. You can sell okay. and it's, you, you make some money for yourself. So that this is just a, a small part of the land. That's <laughs> a resting place. Yes, that's a resting place for the... Well, when do you plan to do the, the building? The building, okay, so like I said, um, we are looking for some funding. Uh, funding or we are looking for some um, revenue to come in. Okay. Then uh, we'll start the 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 building because we know that the building is going to take a lot of money yes, yes if so somebody is on the farm yeah that thing and we, we really really want to help people i think the one of the vision also here is to maybe get a school mm. a farming a farming technical school okay also maybe you never know to help to help farmers okay. we bring lectures here and do so maybe it's, it's it's a whole big vision okay which I know one day to come to a reality. Sure. So we, sure. we'll get there. But all thanks to my brother. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he, is, he has done a human's job. Okay. He has done a human's job. And sometimes when he comes to Ghana and he sees um, the way things are, 
you always you always want to help you always you always want to help mm -hmm. so yeah big up big up to the yeah.